Time to check on some money matters this morning. So far, the Zika virus has not hurt Florida tourism. And Jacksonville apparently is not the best place to flip a home for a quick profit. Jane King joins us live from the NASDAQ with those stories and more in this morning's Money Matters report. Hey, Jane, so we shouldn't try to make a quick buck flipping a house in Jacksonville. Why is that? No, I mean, you know, it's never, this is kind of stuff that led to the housing crisis. It was part, partly to blame for that. So uh, this isn't such bad news. Not according to Wallet Hub, uh, Bruce and Alicia, it ranks Jacksonville the 40th best city to flip a home. Now, Jacksonville did rank high for market potential due to the strong housing market, but lower for remodeling costs and the quality of life. And Jane, a local hospital ranked top in the state? <laughs> Uh, yes, the Mayo Clinic ranked the top hospital in the state. That's according to U.S. News & World Report. Now, it based its rankings on criteria, including procedure outcomes, types of medicine, and patient satisfaction. Mayo Clinic officials partly credit the city's status as a medical tourism destination uh, for that honor as well. Speaking about tourism, uh, up until about three or four days ago, most of the cases of Zika that had surfaced here in Florida were the result of people traveling elsewhere. Well, now there's some Florida-born cases, and the CDC issued an historic warning about travel in an area just north of downtown Miami. Is tourism taking a hit because of all this news? Well, it looks like a little bit, but just in that area, the Orlando Sentinel says Disney travel agents, for example, say they've not seen any cancellations to the theme parks. There have been some rebookings, though, on Caribbean cruise lines that leave out of Miami, as well as Port Canaveral, especially for women who are pregnant or uh, that may be thinking about becoming pregnant. Interesting, the airline stocks uh, were hit on that CDC warning about Zika yesterday. We did see them trade lower. Well, this, this news should make our doctors pretty happy. Bottled water will be more <laughs> popular than soda for the first time in the U.S. Yes. this year. Dennis love it, right? Uh, of course, thanks to its convenience, but also fears over what's coming out of the tap. Now, Bloomberg says Americans have switched from carbonated beverages because their products are calorie-free. Of course, you can just carry around a bottled water. But lead contamination in some cities due to crumbling infrastructure, that is also driving sales of bottled water. So uh, kind of a depressing reason, too but not depressing at all. I'm talking to the number one male newscaster in Jacksonville. So oh. happy about that, Bruce. <laughs> you got a copy of Boy Magazine? Thank you, Jane. Actually, I'm gonna get a copy of that. You know, I checked my, uh, I checked my cell phone first thing in the morning and, and Jane sent her congrats on, uh, on Facebook. But, by <laughs> yes, the way, you, you, you probably don't know this as well, but uh, there are a group of us, including my news director and executive producer and I, who have been nominated for a national Emmy. So on September 21st, my birthday, we're gonna be there at uh, Lincoln Center in New York. And I okay. thought, I thought if we win, that you and Jean could take us to Massa on Columbus Circle. <laughs> and the reason I chose that restaurant is it's yeah. only $750 a person, oh. but it's a 26-course meal. You know, right. Well, you know what they do? That's the restaurant. They fly and fish fresh every day from Japan. So you're paying for that, the plane for the fish. I fly in first <laughs> so class. I've never been there. He's <laughs> never been there. For that. But. Yeah. No. Well, I look forward to you taking us. Thanks. <laughs> and thank you for the good wishes, Jane. And thanks to everybody we'll who, who voted for me in Void Magazine. Appreciate it.